My name is Ulrike Schwinn, and I'd like to illustrate log-free row updates in Oracle Database using eTex in the next uh, couple of minutes. As you know, Oracle Database 23i is the next long-term support release and is one of the many features you have when you install and have Oracle Database 23 AI. Actually, it's a one of the series, the new uh, topic here is one of the series you already provided about uh, transaction, transaction handling. We have priority transactions as a new feature in 23i with a new, within, within separate video. You can prioritize your transaction. Uh, we have also log-free reservations to eliminate hot spots, spots for frequently updated data. And now we will talk about about log-free concurrency control for stateless apps. But before you st we start with Oracle, we want to know what is ETEX. If you look at Wikipedia, you will find that's an HTTP identifier and it's a representation of your uh, URLs. And if the URL changes behind, then you will get a different ETEX, meaning it's like a fingerprint and you can easily compare the versions of your resource. And this will be used in Oracle with JSON relation and duality views out of the box, with JSON collection tables with the with ETEC clause and perhaps a fun part here. Also with SQL, we have a new function to use it with a relation uh, SQL here. Yeah. Uh, only short to get an idea how it is used in JSON document relation and duality views. Uh, what is it? Uh, you can have on the one side tables like here, depth and M table and can use the tables with SQL, but you can also uh, present uh, the, 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 the two tables as a JSON document uh, that can be also read and even written um, as JSON documents. So how do we do this? There's a new view creation you see on the right side. It's quite easy here. We show that, that the, each step table has the, the according emp employees here, and this is the SQL you may use. So if you use this SQL here, what do you get? You get a department here is, is an example uh, with, uh, with additional fields underscore metadata or ETEC and ETEC here. And uh, this is the representation we already talked about. So how can ex I access this? Yeah, of course, with a select with JSON value, for example, here. Um, and of course, with REST or other uh, application accesses here. So how do we use this then? Um, we read the document and retrieve the e-tag. We already saw how, how this works. Then we may update it or try to update it and use the, the e-tag we already have retrieved in step one. So if the update succeeds, then everything is fine. This is the, this is the last current version I'd like to access so I can commit. When the e-tag value doesn't match, then the update will fail and for example for rest we will get something like this uh, error message here in this site here so what is the next part json collection tables json collection tables also is possible having an e-tag you create a json collection table like here what do i get i get a table with one column called uh, with data tape JSON and here I can store my JSON and insert, for example, here 10,000 rows. I can access it and, for example, here I can see the content here and what I see with eTech, I will get an additional field underscore metadata and underscore eTech similar, very, very similar or the same like JSON duality views. So if I want to access it here, for example, with dot notation, I can of course access it like, like before in the JSON duality view. If I want to get the overview, I can use all JSON collection tables and with information with eTech, do I have an eTech or not? The default is not having an eTech or all JSON collections, then you also retrieve the duality views. So this is one nice um, example here, but how can I use this now for log-free concurrency control? As we saw, we have underscore metadata and eTech. Let's uh, query it, retrieve it again. Here's the eTech. Let's update the document with JSON transform 
and change the requester to test. Um, when we select it here, we will get a, a different ETEC. If you look carefully, you can see that this is a, a different ETEC. If we update now with JSON transform and use the old ETEC, then of course zero rows updated. When we try with the current up-to-date uh, um, ETEC, then of course it's successful. And now I may commit the whole thing. Meaning is it's very similar. We have underscore metadata and field and can use it in SQL, for example, to update it. So what is what, is, what about this function Cicero eTech? Let's create a table here with three columns and let's insert very easy uh, three three rows here and commit it. Um, what this row ETEC is doing, it's calculating according to the columns I'm, I'm entering here, T and T1, the ETEC value. So if I update now X, X does not belong to this row ETEC, then I commit it, then of course the ETEC won't change. But if when I update, let's say T1, then of course I will see that the this row ETEC will change. So Similar like before, let's use the old Cicero ETEC, then of course zero row updated. Let's use the other one and we will see, we will have here in the last case, a uh, one row updated. So we can commit the change and everything is fine. And that's, I think, a, a very nice example to have also columns involved that you think should be a calc having a calculated hash value. More in our blog post here, you can scan the QR code if you want. So that's it. As a summary, eTex can be used to implement optimistic log-free concurrency control, as we saw. eTex are out of the box available in JSON relational duality views. They are also with the new optic JSON collection tables, but you need to use with eTech. Then you will get in both cases underscore metadata and eTech and may use it to access the information. In addition, there's a new function called Cicero eTech. It generates the value for the database columns and uh, you can choose the columns that participate in the eTech calculation. So that's a really nice flexibility. That was from my side. I hope you found it successful and hopefully you listen to the next videos too. Thank you very much.